Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. As the recording of this Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There's a fountain behind my head and a piping hot caffeinated beverage. I am back in town. I went to Denver for a series of days, back in Central Florida for a few days, and then I will be departing again to another state, leaving again, a lot of travels the rest of this year. Happy Hot Caffeinated Beverage. I have purchased online for the first time in many years a SeaWorld Orlando annual pass. They have a seasonal pass that goes till New Year's, but they also have a yearly pass similar to Disney and Universal, etc. So I went ahead and grabbed that. It also includes Bush Gardens because, now this is not going to happen today. It's about 4.30 right now. The park closes at 7. So today is just going to be a walk-in and just wing it around the park, see some animals, maybe pop in, check out the layout of the, the place. The last time I have been in, now I've been to SeaWorld Orlando a couple times in the last few years for their Halloween event, but I have not been on a normal day, I think since 2020. And I haven't had an annual pass in a, around that time, if not before. Nonetheless, I'm inviting you to join me Oh yeah, they also allow GoPros on all the coasters there. So expect in the future, not right now, but in the future, in the next 12 months or before, some coaster footage, some show footage, just footage. Shall you? That's warm. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I was around the backside of the Art Deco Celebration 7-Eleven. This is the side, but I was over around the back. All right, hitting I-4, hopefully it's kind. I-4 eastbound tonight. Yep, either going eastbound or westbound. Usually I go westbound. Well, I go eastbound too. But eastbound backed up just as bad as westbound. But it, it unbottles neck past 535. And then it should be smooth sailing after that. But right through here, this little corridor gets a little backed up. There is certainly not a backup or a mad rush to get in here at 4.40 p.m. The park closed. I look up the hours and downloaded the app. Close at 7 p.m. tonight. Just pulling right in for a little late afternoon, early eve, aquatic SeaWorld action. Now when I've been here for Howl of Scream, I think I've gone the last two or three years, they have the entrance to the Haunt event over there. Again, that's the last time I've been in the parks, I think since 2020, when I did have my seasonal pass. I've never had an annual pass here. They always just had the, whatever time you purchased it, till December or till New Year's. But the one I got online is they're now doing a full 12 monther. Except I ended up getting the one that had some blackout days and did not include the parking. So the gentleman at the front gate said it was $34, even though the park closes in two hours and 20 minutes, 34 bucks to park. I explained myself. He said, oh, you can just go to the front and upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade to the free parking or complimentary parking and no blackout. Got a little mural over here. Greetings from... Sea World, and there's plenty of park. I guess I could have parked right over here. I don't know why I parked so far away. I guess maybe I wanted to have like a Clark Griswold moment. I could be running, you know, running. So like, right up there, the whatever coaster that is. I'm not super familiar with these coasters, but it is about to launch again. I'm going to return at some point. And this is not going to be a place I'm out every day, or maybe even every week. But every so often, I will pop in over the next 12 months. You know, every couple weeks or so, if I'm in town, I am doing a lot of traveling this year. But I want to bring my GoPro and do some GoPro stuff. Also, the pass I ended up purchasing includes Bush Gardens, which also has coasters, which has the same policy as far as GoPro-ness, and you're allowed to bring GoPro, so it should be fun. Also, from what I'm hearing, I'll just put this out there, I have never seen the film Blackfish, which a lot of people you know, will mention and chime in about. I've never seen that. I know SeaWorld is changing a lot of their policies and a lot of their ways. In fact, I heard this rumor, I have not confirmed this, but evidently the Shamu show, the Orca Whale show, once that is going to be going away, that is not gonna be a constant for the end of time. So not today, but at some point I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna document that, possibly even bring my GoPro, sit in the area where you get kind of splashed, I guess Shamu. Shamu is not the same whale, so it's not the same whale Shamu from when the park first opened way back in the day. There have been multiple Shamus. And to be honest, I don't even know if Shamu, if they're still utilizing the name 
Shamu. I guess I'll find all that over time. Look at this thing. Oh, ho, ho. Well, that's the new stand-up coaster. I did not bring my GoPro today, but you're allowed to film on that. I wish Cedar Fair Parks would allow filming. Cedar Fair Parks, you know, like Six Flags and stuff don't allow filming on ride on coasters yet. But maybe one day, that'd be kind of, look at this thing. All right, hold on. They're surfing, they're standing up and surfing. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have a good time with this, with this AP, with this pass. They call it an AP here, or just an annual pass. I call it an AP. All right, I now have upgraded from bronze. I was a bronze for an hour, and now I'm a silver annual pass holder to both parks. And they are celebrating their 60th anniversary. The pass I bought includes Adventure Island, Aquatica, which I think is the water park. Look at the dolphins. Look at the dolphins up here. Now the dolphin underground viewing area is just now closing, and the team member so go in and look real quick. Don't stay too long because they close this two hours prior to the park closing. Well, the park closes at seven. It's right at five now. So getting a quick little look before heading out before they lock the door. Look at them swimming around in here. Hello, dolphins. Obviously Jaws 3 was filmed to see World Orlando. They don't really acknowledge it too much. There used to be in the front, hello. Of course, Jaws 3 has two dolphins that kind of help save the day. All right, gotta go wander around the park. It's five o'clock. All right, looks like they're having a show over here. I'm not exactly sure what show this is. But yeah, I got to watch a little bit. I caught the very, very tail end of the dolphin show where they're kind of jumping out of the water and like swimming across and doing all the tricks and everything. Very, very interesting. Now that I think about it, I don't even know if they're really, if they even refer to Shamu by name anymore. I gotta like research that a little bit more and see if Shamu is still still a thing and see, well, I'd just be going off of the, the 80s that I'm thinking of. Also, so here is the, here is like some of the different areas around. Also, Journey to Atlanta, so I really like, but I won't be able to film that until I come back out with my GoPro. You got Antarctica over there, you got Kraken over there. Also, 60th anniversary is not of SeaWorld Orlando. That's for the whole company, I guess they said in the show. And San Diego, SeaWorld San Diego evidently was the first one. That's the one they're celebrating. 60 years of the SeaWorld you know, company. A little carnival games through here. Winner every time. The fish. There's another one over there called Manta Matchup. Oh, take a look. Construction update. Penguin Trek, a new coaster coming spring 2020. Well, it's spring now. Evidently, it's not open yet. Oh, I remember this facade here where they could doing the construction for the new Penguin Trek, evidently, was used as one of the haunted houses last year. The queue line was over there, from what I recall. This whole new this fence is up while they're doing the construction. There's a construction wall here, too. Holy cow. So this whole area over here used to be that trackless penguin ride, which opened many years ago. Evidently, that's closed. What the? Yeah, look at this. This was that trackless penguin ride. Now they're going to, guess, make like an outdoor coaster out of it at some point. Yeah, right over here. Look at this. Wow. I remember when that opened. I think I was out here. I mean, it was like 2017, 18, 19. I lose track of time, but it was a, it was a while back. And I remember when I went in, the, your camera it was so cold in there, your camera would like, you know, fog up. This really is quite the the uh, the cavalcade of fences and scrim to get back here to Pacific Point, preserve the sea lion area right over here. Lots and lots of lots and lots of construction happening out here. I'm a member of the education team here at SeaWorld. If you're wondering where that voice is coming from, I'm wondering here this orange umbrella. Over by the Peter Booth, right? Oh, there she is. For those of you who are interested in meeting our seals in the line, our Peter Booth is open. Once you have your tray of fish, what you're going to want to do is walk over to them, have a towel over your hand, cover your tray. You can see all these white birds hanging around around here. These are not seal birds, they are wild birds, and they can be very aggressive. They are here to steal the fish, and we every single time. Ooh. Once you're done feeding our seals and sea lions, there are hand washing stations on either side of that feeder booth as well as up on the building on uh, top, of the, top of the bridge. As you look into the habitat, you might be able to see that we have two different species of pinheads. We have the California sea lion and harbor seal. 
Tenepad means feather or fin foot, and not only includes different species of seals and sea lions, but also walruses. If you had to guess where California sea lions live, or even the sled dogs come in a variety of sizes, so do tenepeds. From the smallest female fur to lap of the seal at only about 47 pounds, to the largest male southern elephant seal at over 11,000. Luckily our dogs don't get that big. And just like we eat a variety of things, and the kids eat a variety of fish. Walruses will also eat clams, and that means it's been caught in such a way that it doesn't harm the environment, and it also means enough fish in the ocean not only for us later, but also for the animals who still live there. You can do your part by choosing sustainable seafood when you're at home. You can when you're at the grocery store, look at the packaging, see if it says it's sustainably sourced. If you're at a restaurant, ask your stranger to find out if their seafood is sustainably sourced. If it's not, maybe you can consider ordering something else. But you might be thinking, I don't buy groceries for my family, or maybe I don't even eat seafood. But it's okay, there's still things that we can do too. Including, I know you guys have those phones out, you have your cameras out. You're taking oh, 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 oh. Difference. For those of you just joining us, we've been talking about the kind of pets we have here at Pacific Point Preserve as well as the ones found throughout the If you have any questions about our seals, our sea lions, or any of the animals here at SeaWorld, either one of us would be happy to answer any questions that you may have. But Pretty you know, neat. I always love I love sea lions. Again, there's like a place that has a, it's a sea lion pool. It's like kind of over near Carlsbad. I don't remember the exact area, but it's down near San Diego. If I think of sea lions, I think of that area. But I also think of the pier in San Francisco, which has a ton of sea lions. Certain times of the year is more than others. But when I think of sea lions, that's what I think of. And then obviously right here at SeaWorld, Orlando. Yeah, this is wild that they're completely redoing, re-theming, re-utilizing the building that's through here. This is also the way out. You kind of walk out this way for where the sea lions are. And they're reutilizing this building. Yes. Oh my goodness, I gotta go up in that. Also, there are people swimming around down in here right now. There are people swimming around down inside there. I think maybe they're like searching for like a jewel or something. Beautiful pink Live pearl, pearl diving at like the Mermaid Lagoon. Like There's even an announcer right over time. here. Massive. Yeah, if you've ever seen Jaws 3, the part where Leah Thompson one, like, and the shark happens is right on the other side of this, like right in this top. little section right here. One of the first filming location videos I ever did. So. You only yeah. you made the Jaws 3, classic film in 3D. Woo can you put show our divers because they really want to see those. Oh, I forgot they got the, not the swan boats, but the flamingo boats out there. They got the flamingo boats out there. Okay, I need to go over here. I really need to, I really need to go up to the top there. But yeah, there's like as pearl divers over here. You can dive. I guess it's like an experience. You don't actually get in the water, but you watch the pearl divers go down and get the pearl that you're that you're choosing. There's like a little, little show area over here. All right, it costs five dollars additional to go on this. So if you buy a day ticket or if you're a bronze pass member five dollars but because i had upgraded anything silver and gold and platinum it's included in so i'm kind of going around the side also this power aid was almost six dollars all right through the passageway and basically they give you a receipt so you show your pass they give you a receipt if you haven't purchased the five dollar thing then they tear it and then they say through the passageway and up the stairs oh i'm walking up i gotta walk, I gotta walk up here okay interesting now I did this years and years and years ago, but it's probably been 10 years since I've been, I don't know if I'm going the right way. It's like, am I going the right way to get on? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. You're gonna come in, you can go to the right from oh, here. Oh, excellent. Okay? Thank yeah, you. Welcome to Sky Tower. Thank you. All right, a couple things before we get started, okay? It's for you guys, it's for me, it's for everybody. Okay, number one, cell phones. Cell phones, out of the back pockets. Front pockets, hands, bags, that's good. Back pockets, chair, that's a little Because if you lose it, take that off. Take that off your If it drops in that back seat, you might not get it back. Okay, it will be kept to a minimum. Got it? Everybody here paid for a ticket. It's our job to make sure everybody enjoys it. And trust me, we're going to enjoy it. And if I ask you more than twice to please keep your nose levels down. We will be ride stopped and brought back down. And if you have an issue with that, you can take it up with my sister Sue, because guess what? They're going to tell you the same thing. It comes from that. You guys will respect each other. 
That's a very important thing for uh, me. What? 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 Well, if you guys have seat belts, I recommend you put it on because when we get to the top and it does that drop, it's a pretty big drop. <laughs> Got you. Look at everybody's faces. I love it. All right. Chat time. Time to jump for the door. He's teasing you. We saw her. Welcome aboard the Sea World Sky Tower. For the comfort and safety of everyone, we ask that you please remain seated at all times. Thank you. Well, there's one me. He's landing on the rocks over there. Do you see it? Yeah. Welcome aboard. Please stay in your seat. Right? No, we should not. Oh. Did you know that Sea World Sky Tower is the one I do like? Oh, that's the new one. 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 I didn't see where that red light is. All right, no, it's the same entrance. It just, I think maybe they changed the sign since the last time I was in here. Also, the team member up on the sky lift thing, the sky bucket, or not the sky bucket, but the sky rotating platform, actually mentioned Jaws 3D, which I was kind of surprised about. Am I the only one in here? Oh, 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 oh. I love this. I think this area is just the fish. And then you get into where the sharks are, so the little pre-walkthrough is fish. This is really a nice, relaxing late afternoon, early evening day. Got about an hour till the park closes. And now that I have the AP, I come here whatever I want, just look at some fish. Ooh, look at this. Look at the shadows of the sharks down here. Those are not real sharks above it. It's just an illusion down there with a projection, but really cool looking. There's no one in here. <laughs> no one. Oh, wow. Here's a school of fish. Circle pit. Ooh, circle pit. That one was stage diving. That's pretty cool just sit here and watch you get like hypnotizing almost stage dive circle pit open this pit up I've never seen it this empty I remember this area it, it, it usually it's a lot more people in here but I guess later in the day so I'd like to see if they have any Shamu merchandise. If they had a sh oh, like an old school style Shamu shirt, I would buy it. Again, I don't know who I'm hiding in the, dark, in the darkness now. I honestly do not know if Shamu is even something that they market the whale as it. This is really eerie. This is a really good time to be out here if you want to see all this, get photos of stuff because there's nobody, there'd be nobody in front of you trying to get pictures. Here's my shadow. Shark fleet. into the shark encounter. Got a little walking platform. Ooh. Look at this. Look at this. Right? Pretty nice. These creatures of the sea. I'm all alone with the creatures of the sea. Okay, step on. Go that way. Hammerhead. Hammerhead shark. Schools of fish. Schools of fish coming through. Now in the movie, I don't keep talking about the but anyway, he, the shark comes through this. Alright, I won't mention anything about Jaws 3D anymore. I've already talked about that enough. 
It's just me in here, it's just one with the sharks. Experience in here. There's the weapons in here. There was one other group, and they are they're already off. Someone else is coming on now. Please step off and continue moving Please step forward. Off and continue moving forward. Oh, that was awesome. Forgot how cool that was. Yeah, I will be coming back. Bring my GoPro. I just recently did Cali River Rapids over at Disney's Animal Kingdom, and I did that for the first time. So I guess now that I have the annual pass, I can do this. Oh! I probably shouldn't have stood there, but yeah, I got, it just barely missed me. I didn't realize it was flat. Stuff. And it doesn't look like too long of a line. It looks like kind of a walk-on over there. I could probably come back one day and do this and journey to Atlantis, both water rides that are out here. And I could get a little, a little moist with the waterproof GoPro. Oh, look up there. There's the coaster about to drop in over there too. Again, they're a coaster friendly or GoPro friendly park. I'll be back. Oh, I gotta get away from this. They got their ponchos on. <laughs> nice. Over here in the water grill, they also have the wet floor size people getting off the ride. They have dryers outside too that you can pay a couple dollars for and dry off. But they have a pass member lounge over here, which right now looks like it's closed. It's probably not open all day. Maybe it's open earlier in the day, but the pass member lounge, which is over here, you present it, it's closed. So evidently it's not, it doesn't stay open till 7 p.m. or till park closing. It must be an earlier in the day, but come back out because I have an annual pass holder. I can watch my step and go in there. And there's nobody in here either. Well, one person came in and out, but that's it. this was an attraction that you could go in. That's odd. This used to be an attraction and that was the queue line. There's no signs or anything. Right here next to Altitude Burger right there. Yeah, weird. What is this now? Can't walk that way either. So that's where the concert venue is over there, but they have that blocked off at the moment. No access to park exit that way. Also, Wild Arctic Gifts is 30% off. Did Wild Arctic close? Again, it's been a while since I've been to regular SeaWorld without the haunts. That's usually where one of the haunts are. But evidently, there is no Wild, Ar uh, Wild Arctic anymore? Oh, here we go. The, inter the entrance is over here now, maybe. All right, so they rerouted the queue, evidently. Here we go. SeaWorld's 60th anniversary. San Diego. Also, the Sky Tower just celebrated its 50th anniversary last year. It opened in 73 when the park opened. So SeaWorld opened two years, I believe November, I was looking it up, November of 1973, of course, Disney opened in 71. Now that is a, that is a retro looking shirt right there. I like that a lot. There's Shamu in the middle, but I'm not seeing anything, any merchandise that has Shamu's name on it. Shamu. His name is not on any other. I like this shirt a lot. That's really nice. Shirt, really. Now I know I'm not going too crazy. I'm going a little crazy, but I'm not going too crazy. But I do believe this used to be the exit, not the entrance to this encounter. So since the last time I've been on here on a regular SeaWorld day, the base station Wild Arctic, you come in from this way. Well, I guess used to come in from that way. Wow. Okay. Threw me off going down the other queue line, but I guess, you know, it's been a multitude of years. Oh, here's the ice over here. You don't want to like stick your tongue up against there, have a dumb and dumber moment. Cold, oh yeah, that's cold. Very peaceful walking around through here, very quiet. There is no one, no one in here. You enter through the gift shop now. You don't exit through the gift shop and exit through the gift shop. There used to be a whale over in here, I think. All right, she was just informing me 
that there used to be a helicopter ride. That's why you would go in that other entrance. Here's the distances. So San Francisco, 3,582 miles. London, England, 5,267 kilometers. That's what happens when you don't go to a certain theme park for, you know, seven years, six years, eh, five years. 2012, I guess it'd be four years, four years. There's penguins in here. Little penguins. Cute little penguins. Oh, there they are. Look, there they are. Walked around this side, now they came back out. Oh, got some walruses. Look at these. There's walruses coming up there on the shore. One, two, three, four, four of them. And they're being fed at the moment. Definitely a little chilly down in here. Feels good. It would be nice in the summertime to get out of the, the heat and the elements. You can see the penguins from the lower section down here swimming around. They're getting fed now. All right, and here are the beluga whales swimming around down below. I might get a little view as they come around. Again, there was a family down here, but now they have like continued out the exit. And I am just here all by myself in this little area down here. It's like I'm at one with my thoughts, just me and the whales. Here they come. I like how they swim side by side. They're just going parallel there as they circle around inside the tank here. It's very cold in here. It's like temperature is nice, nice and cool and crisp down here. Kind of eerie being down in here by myself. <laughs> it's kind of eerie. Last time I walked through here was when they had to decorate. Well, it was another section of this area for the haunt. Kind of gives that, kind of gives that vibe too. Walking through here now, because I'm just by myself inside here. Okay, I ended up getting that retro-looking light blue or the aqua blue shirt with the kind of retro-looking old school. Uh, logo on it. I saved 10% with my annual pass and it still came to $30 and change. So, a little pricey, but I liked it, so I bought it. Was it part of the 30% off? That one wasn't, anyway. And I asked the team member working in here in the gift shop. She said she has not seen anything that has the word Shamu on it in a long time. Interesting, right? All right, I walked over into the main store at the exit, and they do have some retro-looking ones in here, too. Again, no wording of it says Shamu. It just has the whale, but it has, like, the ringer tee style, which is really nice. I like these as well. You got the one over here that has the, the little uh, pennant on it right there. Nailed it. Oh, it's a uh, hammerhead. Chill the flock. <laughs> Chill the flock out. More to love. Banana tea. Yep. Nothing, nothing anymore says Shamu. I guess Shamu is officially retired. However, the sloth is still here. All right, that's gonna do it for today. From SeaWorld, I am now an annual pass holder. Once again, it's been a while. Next time I come back, most likely, we'll end up doing some coasters with the GoPro. Don't know when I'll be back, but I will. See you the next video, the vlog. Thanks for watching the vlog. Is over. And the pass is also good for a couple other things, including Bush Gardens in Tampa. So I'll pop in there at some point too. Don't know when because I'm only in town a couple days, couple two or three more days, and then I leave town again and then out for a while, back for a while, out for a while, back for a while. But oh, I'll throw some SeaWorld and Bush Gardens in.